New tonight, half a dozen commercial grade inflatables like these vanishing in Pasco County and the impact to an entire community is hitting deep tonight. We've learned ABC Action News reporter Nicole Gregg learning that family events are now having to be canceled because of this theft. It's a short video, but it's the only hope to finding the person driving away with over $15,000 worth of inflatables. It bothers us when somebody comes where we are, where we live, where we work and takes something that doesn't belong to them. The director of Board of Life tells us they had seven inflatables stolen in total. They rented them out at a discount and also donated them to events. The truth is we do a lot for the community. Um, and I think if people realized the good that was happening, uh, because we have these inflatables and we're able to to serve and, and minister to families. I think maybe they would think twice. The sad part is the camp tells us that they had to cancel five upcoming events because these inflatables were stolen. So now it's last minute. We're, we're literally calling places on Saturday saying, hey, we can't be there. This video showing the headlights in the distance as the thief hooked up the trailer last Thursday, driving in and out down this road in 20 minutes. As for replacing those lost inflatables. We'll start uh, an internal fundraiser uh, to do that. Um, that's how we do large purchases like that. The sheriff's office says the truck is a silver four door and you can see a large toolbox in the back. The camp is just hoping someone recognizes the truck in their surveillance video. They are also hoping someone maybe recognizes the inflatables being resold. If you have any information, call the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. In Hudson, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News.